si este partido termina como creemos, será 4 y 0 contra Texans, la mayor cantidad de victorias sin una derrota. Viene la Jackson buscando los taqueos. Con los bloqueos al frente, la Mark Jackson hasta el touchdown y al vestidor. Dice, se acabó este partido. That is Loki, my favorite when they run right into, into the, tunnel. the tunnel. Come back, Lamar. Yeah. Like it was a tough one, but we sort of knew the Ravens were going to come out on top. We are on top today here on the El Huddle Podcast. I'm MJ Acosta Ruiz alongside my primo, my primo hermano, y el cumpleañero, yeah. the birthday boy. Yes, thank What's you, up? thank you. Thank you very much. Happy birthday to you. That's how my grandma <laughs> would say it. Uh, my, my, my grandmother would do like happy birthday to you happy birthday hey, yes to you my madrina tia sonia shout out to tia sonia has a tradition where we sing the happy birthday and then she goes immediately into celebro tu cumpleaños tan <laughs> so we have like seven versions of it all from like different latin american countries I love we it. don't have enough time for that today on the el Hado podcast no. because there is a lot to get through mm -hmm. but just know that there is a tone of celebration for my primo Will sell ah. all day long. Woo, 25 came so quick for you. Will. Can you believe wow. it? I feel like I've been 25 for like the last 10 <laughs> years, something like that. I don't know. I'll take it though. Forever young. <laughs> forever young. Um, okay, so look. Where these, should we dive into these, with these games ahead? No. Um, so much to look ahead to. Um, we have Detroit and San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. Chiefs Ravens. Yeah. Uh, well, well, well. Where do you want to well, go? Yeah. I could not have been more excited for Detroit this weekend yes 100%. you could just you saw so many videos of folks on social media showing how nobody moved from the stands after that game not one person the players were already in the locker rooms they were doing their all celebrations in there and every fan was still in there just taking in that moment they've been waiting for it mm -hmm. for decades will as Absolutely. you know um so that's going to be huge and they have no small task ahead of them going up against um the san francisco 49ers yeah the, i mean if you talk about two physical gritty teams that fight to the end whoo i i like it yeah, I think it's it's going to be a case where there is going to be a majority of the country rooting for the Lions. And with really? good reason. They haven't been sure. to the NFC Championship game since yeah. 1991. And I do feel like they have a little bit of momentum. The 49ers got away with one because if it was the Packers were able thought. to finish drives, mm -hmm. that game would have turned out differently. 100%. And Purdy admittedly yep. did not play well mm -mm. until he did at the very end right, and when he, he did to. what he had to yeah. right and i think not having debo samuel is a big major. loss for them yeah and it could potentially be a big absence for them if he can't go mm -hmm. and that's one that it'll probably be up to game time right and i think obviously brock purdy can't make mistakes no and i think the uh, run game has to be established and and they have to stay with the run game yeah and I think for the 49ers with the secondary of the Lions, like Cam Sutton, he got picked on yeah. a lot. Yeah. They went after him, and Mike Evans had an incredible game. For sure. He put up some numbers. So I think uh, in that sense, that's what the 49ers need to do. But they have to stop the run because, yeah. you know, Gibbs and Montgomery, they are their change of pace backs mm -hmm. who pick up chunk yards. And the 49ers gave up chunk yards. No to Aaron Jones and the Packers, so they couldn't stop him. Uh, yeah, he and, was and demolishing through that defense, I, which but is I could wild to see. Right, and I but I could easily see the Lions going into Santa Clara and winning. Ooh. I, I mean, I I can see it. I I do think that it's tough to play in Santa Clara, and this is the type of matchup that they've hosted before in mm -hmm. conference champions. We've seen them win. We've seen them play really tough games that come down to the wire. Um, and if there's anything we know about. Shanahan <laughs> he's not going down like that no but I do think it's going to be a similar situation where we saw like last week against the Packers where it is going to be way closer than anybody is going to feel comfortable with mm -hmm. but that's the type of game you want at this level in the postseason and then we go to the AFC yeah oh Chiefs and Ravens similar to what you're saying where you feel like a lot of people are rooting for Detroit or better yet against the Niners I feel like what I've been seeing is a lot of people um, rooting for the Ravens yes right right <laughs> to stop the Chiefs dominance and I think if you're a Chiefs fan this isn't shade on you this is what happens when you're building a dynasty when you mm -hmm. win as much as you do and when you have 
what a lot of people call the boogeyman at quarterback. Right. In Patrick Mahomes. I mean, six years as a starter, six years in the AFC Championship game yep. is just a remarkable run. And I think you have to look at him like we did when yep. Tom Brady was playing. Mm -hmm. He's a guy that you can never count out. And yep. remember, we were talking about the receiving core, how they were thin at the receiving core, who's going to step up. It's all of uh, Rasheed Rice, like where yeah. is Travis Kelsey? Those two guys stepped up. And against Buffalo, they were very efficient. They didn't make a lot of mistakes. No. And where... The Bills. Isaiah Pacheco is still going strong. Yeah, re like yeah. running really hard, really just just moving the chains, and that's why with with this team, I think that they have met their match though with Lamar. I think Lamar mm -hmm. is at a different level, even though yeah. Spagnolo and that defense has been great. I just think like Lamar's on a different level right yeah. now. He is one in three against the Chiefs in his career, mm -hmm. but you're right. He he has leveled up even more so yeah. this season, which I think what sometimes you see is quarterbacks get this huge payday, this contract, which he was working very hard towards finalizing with him and his mom just doing the negotiations. Yep. He got it and then said, and now we're going to take it up a notch. And now MVP. Right. Maybe right. So that that's in that on there for him. I can't deny that he should be one of the front runners. Now, now the Ravens sure. were better than the Texans. Yes. Right. Yes. And I think now it's different with Kansas City. Mm -hmm. They have the experience mm -hmm. and it's an uh, even pretty even matchup here when, yeah, in terms of power I think so. and talent. Yeah, sure. I think so. But that that Ravens defense just that's that defense mm -hmm. really serious. they yeah. know how to be stingy. And when they're stingy, they're tough. Sure. Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen, I mean Kyle Hamilton. They got, as they say, some dogs on there, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I, I love this for us, you guys. Sunday is gonna championship Sunday. Yeah. It's so so good. I already have I already know what snacks uh I'm gonna make at the house. Good. Snacks are very important because you know I don't want to move. Yeah. Once it starts, <laughs> that's it. Everything has to be at the house. Yeah. Um but yeah, it's gonna be good. And we're gonna keep the celebration here going with an in-studio special guest who yep. came through for Will's birthday. Do mm -hmm. not move because we already know you've seen um, his content, you've seen his face, and you've certainly laughed at his videos all over social media. El único, Leo Gonzalez, yeah. joins us right after the break here on El Huddle. <laughs> Christian McCaffrey with the touchdown run there against the Packers. Now, Christian McCaffrey, yeah, he's well known, but I bet you he knows who our guest is. 100%. We're talking about somebody who has taken social media by storm. How about this on TikTok? Something like mm, just 2.9 million <laughs> followers. And then also on Instagram, something like 1.1 million <laughs> followers. And, and climbing. Uh, the man is a comedian as well. He is a content creator. He is a brand brand he's also latino and that is why he is on the el huddle podcast right now give a warm warm welcome woo, 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 to woo, leo woo, gonzalez woo. what's up leo that's crazy everybody sit down please please calm down <laughs> this is all for you leo i know thank you guys so please, much the standing I, ovation was a yeah, bit dramatic a guys but yeah okay. a little no bit. phones please the phones <laughs> <laughs> Leo, we were we were talking about what you do for a living right now, and it's mm -hmm. so amazing. You're living this dream. If I told my mom that I was going to be a content creator, she says, "Por favor, hijo, qué es eso? Qué qué?" Well, then again, they said that about journalism for all of us. Right? Too, they so. also said that. Too. <laughs> so, what did your mom say? What did your mom uh, say? We're all venting. Uh, right, right. Let's Not call our mom. Not actually. therapy session. Right. Um, <laughs> No, yeah, my mom's just been excited. I think at first she was like, "When are you gonna work, though? Like, right, when right, are you yeah. gonna like?" And I, I think I, when I started doing the videos, I think she was still like, "Okay, but you know, Delmani's hiring right now. Right? <laughs> you can get full time. Like Martin can get you in." Um, so I think now, I think after uh, after a while, it finally starts to be like it kind of makes, you know, after she s sees a few things, she's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and they pay you for that? And you're like, don't question it, Bob. Yeah. Let's just ride the <laughs> Any wave. guilt then? Uh, you know, that's that's a strong thing yeah. that we've all felt here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, for sure. I think there's guilt. I, you know what? And uh, uh, we're not getting serious. Nah. Uh, I think that one of the things that's crazy, and I know you have felt this, is like you do feel guilty sometimes uh, doing things for work that seem fun. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. being like, oh, my dad never got a chance to right. do this. My mom yeah. never yep. got a chance to have 
this much fun. And I think that also puts things into perspective when you're like stressed out. A hundred percent. Not to, yeah. you know, uh, not validate your current stress, but it's like, oh, but my dad's like in the right. fields. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you know, my dad's out there trying to was doing that for 40 bucks. And here we are right. like. Right. Hey, Create guys, content. drink this juice. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it's just such a crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So I think there's there's always guilt even. But that's why I think that I think that's part of the work, too, because I'm like, oh, let's like keep working so we can let them in on it, too. A hundred percent. I mean, I think that's just part of being the kid of an immigrant. Yeah, right. Like yeah. it's those generational traumas, generational curses. And we carry that. And I don't think the guilt is always a bad thing because I think it reminds us just how long it took for our families to get to this point, for us to have yeah. the opportunity to be like, I t they pay me to talk. For yeah. a living, they pay me to talk about football for a living. Yeah. You know, like the que yo me estoy estresando. Like it's mm -hmm. true, it's true. And to your point, not to invalidate the stress because every job has stress to it, but it's it's a good little reminder of like, man, we came such a long way. And your journey has been wild because I remember yeah. watching your videos early on. I was one of the early 1.1 million right. followers on Instagram. Okay, yeah. she was the one that when I had like 500, she was like road to one mil. <laughs> Your content started because I don't know how many people know this, but you were in the local news world, which yeah. Will and I can certainly relate oh, to. Yeah. I started in local news. And so the the one that really got my attention was the package. If you don't know what a package is, it's like a story all put together, all edited that you did on the taillights. Oh, yeah. Or yeah, on yeah. the blinkers. <laughs> a, yeah. a, a revolutionary new trend using your turn signal. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> lost it laughing because one nobody here uses a turn signal but two yeah. the way that you created it in that style <laughs> but coming from local news what was that journey to pivot into what you're doing now honestly it was crazy first of all i didn't know that you guys were gonna wear those shoes look at that hey. that's crazy and then i'm here with the but yeah, it's, i mean come on a, uh, nike Leo. sponsorship coming soon i know Let's hashtag go. nike <laughs> hashtag ad. um no hashtag. i um uh, no yeah i was doing because I, I wanted to be i wanted to be a reporter for a long time mm -hmm. um because I think my approach was always like, Let me, I, I want to try to Oprah, mm -hmm. it, you know, start like in local. a smaller local place and then work my way into like, like, uh, uh, like positive story because i never wanted to do hard hitting i never mm -hmm. wanted to do breaking news sure. like yeah um like a feature reporter or like something feature, like that yeah. yeah feel good stories like <laughs> this person wrote a letter across the country she <laughs> got that. it she opened it um so i wanted to do like really nice stuff like that and then um and then uh i got my first my first like tv station job in eureka doing master control nice. and I was wow like, oh, let's get in let's right. get in because yeah. at that time i had been doing um i had worked uh in ministry i did like nonprofit work mm. and then i got that part-time at the station it was like an overnight job it was like, oh yeah very All lucrative the overnight very jobs. lucrative it was part of the book <laughs> right. it's like oh right. yeah I, I i spent hours overnight no but it was it was it was my way in and i was like yeah. i'm working on tv tv not even news it wasn't even a station yeah. like a news but i was like the what i just did is on tv now you know it was yeah. like always that and so i spent like uh, two years doing that and That's then awesome. i went back to fresno after after like two and a half years of being away and then about a year in i get i get uh uh an interview offer for to work at univision which was nice. like crazy because it was like that's huge yeah yeah like that's it's a big deal you know it's such an ode i mm -hmm. think you know and and uh, and then in Fresno, as, uh, you know, as in, uh, in L.A., it's such a huge market. Uh, I look like that. I um, <laughs> looking good, looking good, Leo. Look great. Yeah. I um, no, but I, I so I got hired there, uh, super. And I'm not saying this like as a pick me. Like I'm not saying this for you to be like no, but no, I was unqualified. <laughs> I I had been editing videos. I had been making videos, but I did not know how to edit on like proper software, and they took a. Like, I remember, like, getting the job and feeling like a hack. Like, I was like, for real? Like, oh, my gosh. And then, like, I remember, like, one of the editors was teaching me how to edit. And I was like, I'm sorry. Like, I I, I don't know why they gave me What this. did they use? Avid or? They used um, ver uh, vert Vertigo, I think it was for called. Every well, local now station now really has a completely way. different system. Yeah. And they're all similar, but totally different. Yeah. It's, like, super but, crazy. But, but that one was close to Avid. Yeah. Yeah, very similar and like very final cut ish. Uh huh. Um, Look at you, final cut ish. Final yeah, Woo, you know that's what it's all back, about. Um, 
But uh, B roll. <laughs> roll the package. Uh, no, I, uh, so I yeah I started doing that and then uh, and from there I jumped to another local a different affiliate and then and then I I went on my way to Reno a few years later got a job there and uh, doing uh, audio and uh, and and graphics and everything and then I tried to be on air like I tried to apply um, like your goal was to be that on was air. the goal yeah. that yeah. was always the goal and I and my whole thing was like I did a lot of breaking news in Fresno. Um, there's a lot of stuff that, that mm-hmm. happens there and, and, and uh, that's breaking. And, and so when I went to Reno, I was like, I think I could do this. Like, I think I could cover a, 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 an area that has way less stuff than Fresno. I, sure. think, I think I could. Um, they didn't think so. And so <laughs> I didn't get that job. Uh, I didn't change departments. And then one day I just used a green screen to do a news skit. And then that one... Um, uh, just got traction and and, and I was, was that like, your first one that was my first one did you ever think about doing the weather you'd be yeah. great at that well no. he's done a well, couple you know here what? like right that I would wanted, be yeah. because I, I i always thought like i want to do weather because then i can for sure because my thing was always like stay out of people's business yeah in news like mm. i didn't want to be like and you could show personality 100%. exactly right yeah exactly and and then like my friends like we all like growing up like some of my friends like we were all good in like sixth grade and then in like after high school, they're like mugshot on TV. I was like, oh, oh. Mm. I don't want to be the one to say it, you know. Right. Like, I don't yeah. Want to do that. But I want to be there, but I don't want to do that. Yeah. So I, I was always like, oh, weather. But then I was like, meteorology, <laughs> nah. No, nah, nothing. I don't know about that. Science. There, there was there was a reporter in San Francisco, and his name was Rico Chacon. And every time he would do his reports, is I'm Rico Chacon in Pleasant Valley, right? Oh. And so everybody always had put him in the box okay there's the latino right, right. he's right. the one and mm-hmm. he's doing all the latino stories right. and i thought like well why are they why don't they put him on all the stories mm-hmm. so a concept yeah so so did you ever come across that i mean i guess in fresno there was maybe more even representation or yeah. um well you know in fresno i was such a fan because we have um in fresno there's uh do you know who, have you heard of uh graciela moreno what her name sounds very yeah familiar. the name sounds familiar she's a bad, like she is she's a baddie like they're like she is my oprah okay okay because like, oh, wow. there's is. someone next to her like her, her anchor will be like warren armstrong or dale you're wrong and she's like and i'm graciela moreno i'm like oh Ooh, yeah that's, that's the only okay. part yes. i can't miss yes. the first yeah. Two yeah 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 that's moreno. my vibe oh but that see th- that like see that inspired me though to see that i just wanted to see oh, yeah. more of it right yes, sir. You see her? Oh, Graciela. Graciela, yeah. She's everything. She's everything. <laughs> but see what an impact that Graciela had on yeah. you. She's been, for various you reasons. You see how young she looks? She looks yes. great. She's been doing it since I was a little kid. Latinas yeah. be like, I'm 102 oh, years old and look like that. Yeah, 100%. I, when I, I was with her, I, dumb, I, was, I was with her a few, <laughs> uh, a few weeks ago. I went to, I because that's that where she works at, at, at the, the ABC affiliate. They're very, very kind to me. So they always... um they always invite me to go hang out and, and every time I see her I'm just like what a dream like right. I, want, what an icon. I just love yeah. watching you and was inspired and yeah so, obviously though having that TV background though helped you a lot for sure right yeah more than what people realize yeah I think I was always preparing because I was always because of because of like wanting to do journalism I was always very like PR minded like mm-hmm, very mm-hmm. like um branding marketing yeah, like the yeah. whole mm-hmm. package I, yeah. I knew that I wanted to do some sort of marketing um sorry i'm also i'm i'm, I'm looking that way mainly because you're fine like, yeah, you know, yeah okay. i know what my side sight profile lines, looks like yeah, no, that's all right. i've good. seen it and they told me they wouldn't move the camera ah. <laughs> well, it is a rubble camera, they will. uh honestly i'm just gonna no but um ready camera one take camera one uh, no, can we zoom in, pull in please uh <laughs> no but uh uh yeah when you think about cut to now and this year the nfl brings you in yeah mm to cover some of the biggest games across. I mean, was there a scenario where you pictured that being part of your of your trajectory? No, that was <laughs> that was not on my bingo card. <laughs> I, I I was so shocked cuz I um I think uh when I when I came to LA, I always was like, oh, this is cool, this is cool that you know, I'm going to this, going to this. And then maybe a few weeks pass and then I'm like, oh, I, you realize that's what you did? You right. realize like that that was the National Football League. Right. Like the same yeah. one that yeah. has always been there. The same one that 
that that brings uh, and unites people and and um, you know it's a it's a whole culture and so for me uh, it was just a crazy crazy thing and uh, I think it, it it hit me like the second the second taping that we did which I think was in was um, it Kansas City that was the last one okay that, oh, the last because you did okay. you did here in LA yeah. Kansas City and a couple of others we went Dallas Dallas is huge yeah that's a big time one yeah 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 the one that was the crazy that the craziest was Kansas City though yeah because wow, okay. Dallas was raining that day got all rain um, <laughs> thank god it's a closed stadium <laughs> yeah but uh no but the uh, kansas city when i was like i don't like the, it and you know what like not to like be deep or anything but um Get deep. it was so it's so neat to see so many people together and, and like it's just like like just to just to see people just love what they love so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. and like and it's such a it's such a really beautiful thing to to yeah. be able to say like dang like i like how exciting i think it's just like when we're kids and we like you know decorate our room or like we like right. you know decorate our binder or whatever it's like, yours it's though. yours and yeah you, and yeah. you go to kansas city and it's like dang like these guys did that to a bus mm -hmm. they did that to a little trailita <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. so sick like you like yeah. that's your thing like this is your thing that no one can take away from you as right. your team yeah and so i think that's what was so nice about it too is is um all the passion um because i think you know as you as you do more and more unbelievable stuff mm -hmm. maybe you start to detach a little bit mm. and then you see things like that and you realize that oh this is the real world and people are doing things that they're that they really are are into and that's mm -hmm. that, yeah. that's really nice so leo who would be like your favorite players teams that you enjoy watching honestly if you have it wasn't any. until i uh it wasn't until i um until I came to LA that I, I was like, I need to really be behind the Rams. Sure. You know, yeah. I think that's when I got here. Uh, and, and I just thought like, you know, cause I, when I was in, in Hanford, uh, close to Fresno, it, it's so split there. It's you, you, well, at, at least growing up, it was like 49ers. Raiders. Raiders. I knew yeah. it. Yeah. You know, yeah. In Fresno, in Hanford, it's like yeah. all my friends, dads had the Raiders garage. <laughs> and, um, and for me, I was like, oh, I don't like the colors. Um, so like, maybe the nine now just but uh no but then when i came here i was like this is so exciting and you come to a game and it's like it's a whole different thing yeah. you know mm -hmm. and that's and that's and that's so that's the cool thing about la too is is going to to the soccer games and and to baseball games uh you get it all here and it's honestly. just like yeah. you're, just the pride that you have that people have here especially the people i feel like you know i'm not I'm so new that people are like, ah, they're my Dodgers. They're, they're my Rams. They're my, the, you know. Yeah. But I'm so it's, I think that's what it is. It's yeah. just like watching people be a fan of this stuff, you know, so. Yeah. Um, and then I'm like, oh, Aaron Donald. Then I go to Shell. I'm like, oh, look, Aaron Donald. <laughs> <laughs> but to your point, you're right. Whether it's and the way you phrase it, like they're my Dodgers, they're yeah. my Rams, they're my Cowboys. Yeah. Like this is very much how sports fans but certainly nfl fans look at it and i think sometimes yeah. we can sort of disassociate with what it is because we're looking at the bigger scope of the playoff picture of who's yeah. going to the super bowl mm -hmm. and you forget the day-to-day -day people who have the tattoos of their favorite team who oh, have yeah. like their super bowl the last time they won a, a, a ring tattooed on their stomachs we've yeah. seen it all right but mm -hmm. it is that big of a deal yeah. to these folks and when we're in it we can sometimes lose it until yeah. we go to like yeah. a big You take it for right? granted a little for bit. For sure. Right? I think you take so. it for yeah. granted. So yeah. it is such a beautiful reminder to see how, how deeply people um, not just love it, but make it theirs. Exactly. Right? And that's, I felt that, you know, obviously I thought Kansas City was such a amazing, like uh, you see it, but then you go to Dallas and you feel mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go anywhere. Like I'm like, I went yeah. there to get a to try barbecue, and they're like, "We them boys." I was like, "I just wanted a sandwich." We can I put, right? Yeah, they're just like, <laughs> "We them boys." God. Um, but I like over there. It's like it's, it's like a level. religion. It's next level, really yeah, hillsome, sure. right? It's, yeah. And I think that's the thing is like when we talk about like people, you know, that people like are not so interested in certain things, or you know, we can't we can't all unite on the same type of ideas whatever i think that's the exciting part is like yeah. this is their thing it's just what it's exactly mm -hmm. that point of like this is my thing you can't take it away this is what i show up for mm -hmm. this is what i you know and then i i think about like when i when i came here to um 
I think the Chargers. It's just like the pe- the way I think sometimes people forget. Like these these people are normal people who work yeah hard mm-hmm. and they 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 save their money to be able to do that three hour five hour drive yes. to fly yeah from from another place. Like that's crazy because mm-hmm. I think like we get so lost and 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 just everything becomes so uh, it just becomes the motions that we're living in and we forget like. No, like all of these people are all different stories. They're all coming from their different places. They had a rough week or they had a rough life sometimes. You yeah. Know? And they're coming. It's like, this is my thing. I'm going to, I'm going to get, I'm going to go. I'm going to splurge. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to scream. Like, uh, that's fun. That's Was so there fun. any behavior that you saw along the way that you're like, well, I'm a, I would be a diehard fan, but I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. And I like can't to mention express their just, fandom. Just for legal reasons, I can't mention <laughs> what activity, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll start. Um, bless the Bills and the Chiefs fans who are out there shirtless yeah. in sub-zero temperatures. Please stop. For your, for your own for your own safety, yeah. please stop doing that. Um, I think it could have been the Ravens because they did play them here. Purple identifying. We're and just the gonna, Ravens. Uh, we're, and they won. The Ravens they won. won. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll just go with that. I think it was. Um cut to some other incredible opportunities you've had um being on lopez versus lopez yeah being on Netflix. i mean i was on hulu on hulu on hulu yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for you to be able to then transition this into acting that's a big that's deal. cool that's a big leap too it was crazy it was so like were you like what yeah i was like who, who are you, hello <laughs> like no it's just so it's so interesting because i think you know like i i think uh my cup was already uh i i felt like it would have been full doing uh stories and stuff Mm -hmm. like that Mm -hmm. um and so being able to do something that was really wild was so surprising because i I didn't plan on it i never did any theater i never like learned how to act or anything and and it was just like these goofy videos that i was doing um you know so i think about that a lot when i was i was in nevada still and i was like filming these at like two in the morning on my my green screen um you know i think that's uh, and it was early in the pandemic so Mm -hmm. it was so it was so uh interesting to meet people later on like years later who watch them because i'm like you forget that those numbers are actually people because you're right right i was making them alone and you know in in um you know what was that called when we were having to like not be around people distancing? oh a quarantine social yeah. distancing yeah 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 oh my god i haven't said that one in so long no that has been a minute uh oh, well i know that you're scary. a big fan of george lopez too yeah, yeah, yeah. and i remember interviewing george lopez and was so uh fascinated by his process because he took being a comedian very seriously and he would always say like, I don't know why these other comedians don't take it seriously, where mm. he would record himself mm-hmm. and he would play it back and then he would work on his craft. He's like, this is our job. Right. This is our business. Well, it's like and athletes watching film. Exactly. No, exactly. And I think that's a big reason why he's been so successful. For sure. And my friend Al Madrigal, if you had a chance to meet yeah. Al, yeah. Al and I, we went to high school together. His first comedy bit we did together. And so to see him also, he took Will's it seriously. Uh, and he's done so incredibly well. And I know that you've you've interviewed him and come across Al too. Yeah. So it's really cool to see like, you know, we're doing okay for ourselves. The Latinos, <laughs> you know, we're out there. We're, we're doing some things, you yeah. know? Al I- was so nice. I-, I met him the first time I- at the- He's really not though. He's a big jerk. No, I'm just Stop kidding. it. I was just saying <laughs> that. was that. great. Let's- yeah. Somebody will click that on the internet <laughs> by itself. <laughs> no, I-, I met him at the at Morbius premiere. Uh- yeah, he oh, was wow. a Morbius. And uh, and I was so, I was like, oh my gosh. So he was walking by and I was like, and then my friend was like, took a picture with him. And I was like, nah, can I get a picture? Uh, That's like a mom like, don't think I Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, no, it was it was crazy. Like he's, he's so nice, and then, and then I saw him a few weeks ago, like two weeks ago, right? And I interviewed him. It's so nice to for them because I feel like what I've noticed in in here that I I I, I mean I didn't think it would be that that crazy is, uh, or or deep or whatever is uh, that everybody's so nice. I think mm-hmm. uh, being outside from outside of LA, you get this like 
idea that like Hollywood is so whatever and and it turns out like there's just so many nice people and mm -hmm. Al's been one of those people and uh and George yeah uh, yeah same thing you know uh, yeah. I, I think good guys mm -hmm. you you grew up watching them and then to meet them and and to to work with them as like like so like how do you even you can't really prepare for that sometimes mm -hmm. yeah i will say i feel like in la the latino community is so supportive of mm -hmm. one another like in every interaction even just meeting you right i was like leon you were like immediately okay cool like let's let's connect what can we yeah. do and i i find that to be the case even with people like running into Eva Longoria, they're always like yeah. very, very um, humble. And especially if they know you're Latino, like, oh, you're you're one of us. Yeah. What can I do yep. for you? And I think it's because L.A. overall is a very tough city. It's hyper competitive. And so we know, I think, as Latinos, we are still the group that's trying to come up. Right. We mm -hmm. are still the minority here trying to build this force. Um, and so every time we meet one another, we're like, Entonces dime, what can I do? Mm. What can I how can I promote you? How can I get you in the mix? At, at least that's been my yeah. my perspective so no, far. That, Eva is crazy. It's like, insane. But she was excited see, to see you. Every time yes. I see her, I'm like, because the first time I, I had met her. Uh, Cause she followed me like three years ago on TikTok, and then when I, I met her the oh, first wow. time, I was like, "Was that a mistake? Like, did you were you right? Like, was that your assistant? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah." And then no she way, like said my funny. name, and I was like, "Bro, stop, <laughs> stop, don't say that." Like, and so and then like as time go, has gone on, she's so nice and so supportive, and and all, always, mm -hmm. and, and you know, and I think it's it it it's so special when you see someone who is doing and has been doing such great big work um for us yeah mm -hmm. and and i love i love when i'm like when i'm somewhere like you know you know how you go like a laundromat or something and there's like a tv there and then you just see like Eva Longoria, like Revlon. Is it Revlon? I think she does. And I'm like, oh, like, oh she, she quite follows me. She follows me. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a my heart be still. <laughs> for sure. For um, sure. It's, it's, it's funny to see these, these uh, celebrities who come up to you and they geek out. Yeah. Like they really geek out. They know you. They have followed you. And like, who who has been the one celebrity? Maybe it's Eva Longoria. Maybe it's Eva. But yeah. who, who is the one celebrity where you're like, wow. They are really into what I do. Oh man, you know I I think the the Eva every time I'm always like stop, stop and like that that's always a shock. Um, and also uh, I'm such a big uh, Amy Poehler fan. Oh, oh my she's god. funny. Oh my god, so hysterical. Funny. Like effortlessly hysterical. Yeah, like just brilliant. Oh, yes, man, like, very very smart. And and I, I remember I went to a. She was the EP of some of uh, of a Netflix show, and and she walked in, and I was like, oh no, nah, like I'm not even because one thing I, I don't prepared. I don't like to bother people like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't like I never bother people um, unless they come up, then I'm like I'll respond, but like I'm like I don't like I see them I'm like oh my god let me go take out the trash and uh, <laughs> and, and like uh, uh, what's her name Amy Amy was standing right there. And that night, I was like, you know what? I just I'm gonna say hi. I just want, and I and I'm gonna say hi from a distance. I'm not even gonna go up. I don't ask for pictures, nothing, nothing. And then uh, and then she like looked up and she was like, Leo. And I was like, shut up. Like, bro, oh my gosh. And that was that was pretty early on into me being in LA. And that on I can honestly say that that night and that conversation was such a like it filled my well yeah because i think i've had moments where i'm like oh uh let's uh let's go apply at charlie's again not charlie's like, let's go uh <laughs> i can still make some i bet uh, Phillies. <laughs> um but that night with uh oh no it is good i um she told me she was like you know i i, I watch you every day and oh, I, I don't remember everything. She's like, yeah, I did. I wrote it. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, nah, so like, great. I would have. Yeah. No, she was like, I watch you every day. You know, you're so. I, I don't even like to say because it, it feels like. I'm, but she just gave me like this like speech, and I remember just being like, I, like you, because I'm I'm such a, a fan of improv, and mm -hmm. I was I loved MTV and 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 uh, I'm I'm not MTV, Mad TV, 
and and uh Take SNL it growing it, it, but, up. But yeah. Matt TV, I remember, was like the anti SNL. Yeah. Yeah. I love both of them. And the diversity on Matt TV. Than, yes, than it was. SNL. Yeah. yeah, I just loved that live thing. Mm -hmm. And and I loved watching them break. Uh, not all the time. Like, you don't always have to break Jimmy Fallon, but like when they would. But it is hilarious when they do. Sometimes. <laughs> right. You know, like I loved, I loved it. And so I think when, when, when she talked that night, I felt so. Uh, it was such a confirmation. And then yeah. John Mayer, like three months ago or two months ago, it was right after the NFL thing I did. I was like, I saw him and I was like, oh! <laughs> like my Pandora. You remember Pandora? Is yes. It's, it's still around. Do they huh? still have that? I don't even know. No, I think Is there still all, Pandora? All Spotify now. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Randy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So Randy has Pandora. He's yeah, keeping. So Randy's them, the one. He's our keeping it alive. <laughs> Single-handedly <laughs> keeping Single -handedly it alive. Pandora. There you go, Randy. <laughs> no shades of Pandora. Hi. No, <laughs> yeah, because if there's a brand deal there, Pandora. Right. Uh, we'll, We're on uh, it. No, but um, uh, yeah, I, I remember just seeing him, and then he told me just a bunch of nice stuff, and, and I was like, I think it's such a shock because there was those people who are who are known and it's like, oh, that's so cool to meet them. They're nice and everything. But then there's like the ones that like you're a fan of. Mm -hmm. And then you don't even know, like, how do I dictate that this is even real? Like, how right. do I even, mm -hmm. you know? So I think those two were the ones that like. So cool. Yeah. Fueled that's me a up big like deal. crazy. Um, I do have more of a technical question because oh, yeah. I think with the rise of social media and content creation, I think uh, uh, many creators can sort of get a bad rep. And as someone who has had great opportunities to work with brands, putting together one sponsored video, that's a whole day's work, y'all. Like, it's no joke. And you're creating content, multiple pieces within a day, and you have to keep it up. For you, let's just say one video on average, from soup to nuts, just, okay, I have this idea, I'm gonna write it down, to shooting it, to editing. Just let people in on how how much it actually takes to to put this out there. Well, I think a rent is due. So okay. It's like, <laughs> Period. Uh, Period. It's not a. I, you know, it's like like you said, like it's a business. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, at some point, it becomes like we have to, and so um, uh, it, it depends. There's some videos, you know, that that I'll walk into something and I'll see a little moment. I'm like, I will right, we'll write it down, and then and we'll film it. We did one at a party, uh, uh, like a little uh, birthday party a few days ago that one hilarious one take and it was right there and then there's some that are like okay it's gonna take a green screen or there's right. some that i'm like i it's gonna take an actual business because mm. i i think it'll be funnier to be physically there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know green screen is like it works but then there's like that other like three element yeah mm -hmm. element to it and so um yeah i think some of them i'll spend a few um a few hours writing it just because I um uh, I'll, st I'll, I'll still kind of improvise it, mm -hmm. but there's certain lines that I still want to make sure are in there. Mm. Um, and so what I what, what I love to do, the ideal thing that I, I do, uh, I don't I'm not always good at it, but uh, I still do it is, is uh, we'll spend uh, like a day. And I'll write, you know, maybe like 10 skits. Wow. Um, and then and then we'll have like a production day on a Tuesday where it's like so you batch it yeah, yeah i love i love to film like 10 12 videos in one day oh my god so that i can wow and then i'll edit them That's that night and then i can have the next 10 to 12 days weekdays like worth of content so now i have smart this other day to write you know part of an of a project that i want to write or i can audition for something i can work on the other stuff so i can you know because I, I i'm so scared of um of focusing too much on like mm -hmm. trying to act and then mm -hmm. not staying afloat on social media anymore yeah and vice versa like i want to still like I, being that i love uh traditional media and i love uh just linear i love yeah. i love a sitcom i love that type of stuff yeah. remotes mm -hmm. conan o'brien remotes something you don't hear people say anymore. i know i, love I know linear. it's like a throwback our, our boss is hearing they love linear guys yeah, <laughs> you know, i brought my resume too um, yes actually <laughs> so uh yeah I, I think i uh i love to do things like that and try to organize it that way so that i don't have to think about it and in the meantime i'll work on some other ones and then you know i we just shot a video right now that got that we uploaded like on the way here um that was just like a quick little thing um so it just depends but i i think the the thing is you know i want to make sure that i have time off sometimes and where i don't have to post anything so i'm not like right 
trying yeah, to see like, did I reach a quota? Did mm-hmm, I reach mm-hmm. this? Like there's some days I don't want to think about that. Yeah. And then there's other days where I'm like, well, it's, it's the 20th. The rent's going to like Dave's about to knock in a few <laughs> days. <laughs> How many days. videos don't get posted Ooh. that you create? Oh, um, very rarely. Cause a lot of them are so good that, uh, no, <laughs> nothing no. on the cutting room floor. <laughs> yes. Nothing. No, you know, I, I very, uh, very few, maybe, um, one every two, three weeks doesn't actually, I've been sitting with one in my drafts where I'll look at it. And I'm like, no, it is kind of funny. And then like the next day I'm like, that's so dumb, but I don't delete <laughs> it yet. Um, uh, I did one recently where I, where I was a, uh, I was pretending to be like a Gen Z news reporter. Oh my God. And I sat on that one for like four days. It was like, that's, it was hysterical. Yeah. But what made you, what made you sit on that? Because I, I cringe. Well, I mean, a lot of them. Gen Z to come after. No, I were friends. (laughs) I, I identify as Gen Z. Um, (laughs) but, uh, no, I, I think I was just like, I cringe, I cringe at a lot of them. It's giving breaking news or something. I was cracking up. (laughs) Yeah, and, up. and it, it performed so much better than I thought it would. Mm-hmm. So, um, and uh, and thankfully, there's not too many people that that think I'm being too serious about it. No, I mean it's satire, yeah. right? It's right. satire, and that's and why you I do like it very to well. I like to equally come after it, like right, right, right. equal opportunity yeah. Yeah. Um, dragging of everyone. Yeah. I love that. Um, what's what's next for you? Like what? Where else can we see you? And is there anything that you can give us a little heads up on? Without breaking any NDAs, um, NDAs. or embargoes. Uh, yeah, now yeah. we're talking business <laughs> again. I'm not trying to get my boy in trouble, all right? <laughs> it's a business. He said it. Um, Let's get those sots ready. I yeah. know. I know the teasers. <laughs> um, no, I. Uh, uh, well, the good thing is, I, I just shot something yesterday. Uh, it was a little scene of a of a of a movie. Um, and it's my first movie, like my oh first film. Oh my God, that's um, huge. And it's like, it's Congrats. three, three, uh, the three names attached to it are really uh, iconic in, in different categories. Adam, I'm ah. kind of, yeah. I, I can say, <laughs> okay. uh, no, but it was, it was, the, it was such a special thing. Um, and so that, that, and then, um, and hopefully uh, another thing. Um, so I, we're just trying to be employed this year, honestly. Okay. That's it. Balante. Yeah. Yeah. We're so proud of you. Yeah. Thank you for spending this time with us oh, and letting us into awesome. your story. This um, was awesome. Seriously, yeah, Leo, just congratulations on the success. Love that un Latino is tiene éxito, right? I yeah. mean, it is so awesome. So cool to see you do your thing. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now you're part of La Familia, right? Yeah. So does yeah. that mean you're going to come by? You're going to be primo? You're going to yeah. Let me periodically know, come back? I'm yeah. down. I'm down. Okay. For real. Where do I pick up the check? From? I was going to say, cut they the check. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, about, uh, about yeah. MJ, you want to run? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll help you out there. No, but for real, thank you, no. though. This Thanks, Leo. Appreciate it, man. La de, la de este muchacho, Harman. Uh-huh. Hay, hay varias cosas del partido, pero en este momento, era la de. La de Dick. Está sobrando mucho el bien. Oh, it's so hard to watch. <laughs> Un golpe. How did Papi take it? Not so well. Uh, he didn't even reply yeah. to my message. When I... <laughs> so he hasn't replied like in the last few he days. He did, or... but he hasn't oh, he did. talked about that. Okay. He talked about yeah. something. I got a, a package delivery to their house. He asked me about the dog, but did not want to talk about yeah. the kick. <laughs> I, I can't say I don't blame him, but honestly, yeah. it's like, yeah, Bass missed the, missed the kick, yeah. but the bills needed to make plays no during that last yeah drive. that was not his fault yeah and the Stephon kick was but Diggs, the game was <laughs> Diggs needed to make that catch yeah i mean yeah. that was an incredible throw by josh allen and josh allen did all he could mm. to and then some yeah yeah and then some and yeah. it just didn't work out which Ouch. brings me to Ipunto because now we're seeing some of these coaching vacancies being filled yeah. you know the raiders deciding to stick with antonio pierce i love it for Antonio Pierce. So, I love it for the Raiders. Well, but this is now, now we'll see what he's truly made of because now he, he is going to a yep. full off season, see what he's about. Max Crosby threatened to leave if he didn't mm-hmm. get the job. So we got the job. <laughs> Tom Telesco then comes over from the Chargers Crazy. after being with the Chargers for 11 years. Crazy. Yeah. And so, and then with the Chargers, you know, there's been the 
discussions with Harbaugh. Mm -hmm. And then if Harbaugh comes into that division, makes it a little bit more spicy and interesting because you still have Sean Payton, obviously, with the Broncos. Broncos. But if Harbaugh then works with uh, Herbert and that team, they they need something different there. Mm -hmm. And I think Harbaugh knows how to build something up, wear out his welcome and then go. Right. You know, and once he had hired that uh, agent that represents a bunch of right. NFL coaches you and also had represented real, yeah. Tom Brady, you knew he was going to do it. And this yeah. just seems to make the most sense for him. No question. I, th- the coaching vacancies are always so interesting mm-hmm. because there's still the Bill Belichick of it all and everybody questioning. And Atlanta has t- yeah. brought in a bunch of people. So it's... it's and we're Vic not Fangio even, being out. And now Vic Fangio and the Dolphins have parted ways. Mike McDaniels put out a statement through the team saying mm-hmm. after they assessed the full season, this was the best um, sort of move. Oh, man. It's nuts. Yeah. It's nuts. But the Dolphins do know that they have to get very serious about defense, especially in this division. Um, so it'll be interesting to see who they bring in. Um, and, and is FBC. our friend Ron Rivera, like, where is he going what to is go? He gonna, is he going to land in Philadelphia and be a D.C. there? Is Miami now in the mix for him? We only wish him the very this best. This is why we tell you guys, after the Super Bowl, our jobs are just beginning. Yeah. yeah. Just People always beginning. think, like, you're coasting after the Super right. Bowl. Right. Not Wrong. even. Because you, you still have free agency. Then combine. you're going to have pro days. Mm-hmm. Combine, like you mentioned. And then the draft. Right. So, I mean, we're, vacancies, we're still going yeah. strong. There's a lot, there's a lot happening. Um, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves because yeah. we are – just a few days away from knowing what the Super Bowl matchup will be. Um, for my friend Will, I do hope that his Niners <laughs> get through. Maybe that's the birthday gift Woo. they're holding for you, That'd Will. That'd be nice. That'd that be, be nice. nice. That would be nice. I mean, I honestly, I think there's a lot of pressure on Shanahan. Uh, no question. I mean, a no ton question. of pressure. To get back to a Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, think, I think if you look at the people that are under pressure just in the final four, I, I think it's Shanahan one, Lamar two. And Lamar, yeah. Right? And then mm-hmm. I think... Purdy three, all of rock, right? All like rock. I, I think yeah. there's because a lot of people hating on him. Yeah, uh, but he's led the team to back to back. I know, you know, championship appearances, and so hopefully he'll be healthy yeah. and keeping the fingers crossed. We have a that. big weekend ahead. I hope you have the best birthday, Will. We love Gracias. you so much. Prima hermana. Felicidades to another year, and Te we will mucho. see you guys Gracias. on another El Huddle next week. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share it on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, if Todo. you're on there. Todo. All of them, please. YouTube, all of the fun stuff. We'll be back. Will, let's get you some cake. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Adios, everybody. Adios.